If you're an association, community, or expert that teaches live training online, members-only events are a really important portion of your membership site business. In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the Events Calendar, a popular free and open source WordPress plugin, in combination with Paid Memberships Pro, to lock down events and event registrations for members only. In my demo site here, I already have the events calendar set up, so we don't have to go through the full setup of that. We'll put some links in the description to the events calendars plugin repository page and other videos that they have about setting up their plugin. I'll show you a little bit around. We will create one event just so you can see the dashboard. Um, but here, if I click events in this menu of the demo site, you'll see a list of events that have been pre-populated in this site. Um, events are a custom post type, just like pages and posts in your WordPress site. They're going to be in their own list and table in the admin of WordPress. So if we go through, scanning through, this is a single event page. Again, just default paid memberships pro of WordPress, member light theme. They look really beautiful here. Uh, it has the title, the event date, time, a picture, and information here. I kind of recommend for membership sites, people are already logged in, so you could do ticketing and registration enforce that, or you could use your events kind of as informational portals with date, time, details, and a link to Zoom. Just embed the content of the live stream right there on the event page. Lots of creative ways to do this. Post a comment on the video if you're wondering how to best connect membership registrations and member ticketing to this. But most sites, I think, just use it as a listing of events to participate in and include details in the members only section of the events, which we're going to demo shortly. So I'm going to go into the admin of the site and I'm going to install the membership uh, events add-on that we offer. It's free in wordpress.org. Uh, so I'll go to memberships add-ons and just search for events here. Um, this is the add-on. If you want to get details about it, it is is available um, through our site and also for free through the WordPress.org plugin repository. But you can just click install in your site and then we'll be able to activate it. Perfect. So this is a multi-purpose add-on, kind of like our courses add-on that has built-in integration for a few different platforms. The events for members only plugin also has integration for a few different plugins. Today, we're just demonstrating the events calendar integration. But the documentation page, which we link to in the, in the description, will have uh, other modules that it works with if you're using a different events plugin in your site. So now that this is activated, we can go to the events area of our site. That's that custom post type and create a new event. Uh, just like posts and pages, it has a title, events demo, it has content, you know, join us. My demo. Um, you can add all this event detail. It's meta information that helps it get placed on the calendar view, um, helps people see like a map view of where the event's located and all kinds of details here. Um, but the main thing we want to show is the membership functionality. So you might recognize this require membership box. It's the same one you'll see when you're editing posts in WordPress or pages in your WordPress membership site. So I'm going to create this event and say it's for all level members and just click publish. That's also available on existing events. So let's edit one of our other events we had pre-populated in this site, tricks and training uh, techniques for your dog. We're always on this dog theme uh, and select what membership levels can access this one. So now if we go to the event, you can see that we still see full event details here in the site, um, no limitations. We are logged in as a member already, so we don't have to worry about that. But let's log out and then we'll just see what the experience would be for uh, someone else on this site. So if you're a visitor to the site and you happen to get to the events archive here, you could still browse all of the events. And then on a single event page, you would see an excerpt of content about the event and a, our same content message to log in or join um, to access the event details. So let's join and then we'll go through checkout and just show you how this all looks for someone who has um, an active membership site. Perfect. And submit. We're just using a testing gateway here, so we're not going to have to enter payment information. Your site will be a little bit different. So let's go back to that event. Let me try this one. Cool. So now you'll see the full event details. We're not locked out. Uh, we have membership. We can view the event details. We can still view it 
uh, in the other area of the site. So I'm going to log out, log back in as my admin user, and then show you how uh, you can change what information is shown by default uh, to people without access. I'm going to start by canceling my membership level just so that we can see uh, the, the changes that we make and how that looks in the site. So I'm going to be an admin user logged in, but I'm not going to have a membership level. So let's go to our memberships settings advanced. So just like your posts and pages, the events in your site are going to inherit the settings for how you want searches and, fil and archives to be filtered and how you want excerpts to be shown to non-members. So for this site, I think that it's um, not filtered and excerpts are shown. Let's toggle this uh, to hide excerpts and go back and look at what that does to our event on our site. We update that. I'm going to go back to events and locate that training course we edited this Okay, so this one should be protected for me now, um, and I can't see. So now you see that excerpt is gone. Um, because we're hiding excerpts from non-members, we won't even see that content. Um, this is the, let's go back to all events. I wanna show you how you can filter archives also. So I think that was 2030. We have a like a recurring event thing on this. Um, so yeah, this 2031. So let's also demonstrate what happens when we adjust advanced settings to filter searches and archives. We go to advanced, filter searches and archives. Yes, only members will see restricted posts and pages and events in searches and archives. Click save settings. Um, so now all of those protected events are hidden. So we can't see anything. We can't see all the upcoming events that are protected for members only. So depends how you want to set things up. Some people like to use a robust events calendar visible to non-members as a way to show them all of the value that exists behind the paywall. Some people are so private and locked down that they don't want members only events visible on the front end of the site in that way. So that's your choice. It's under advanced settings. There are some advanced filters if you wanted events to only be filtered, but not posts and pages. Uh, it gets a little technical, but if you reach out on our support team, we can show you how to do that customization at that level. So that's the events for members only add-on with the, the events calendar. I know I've said events a lot today. So the events calendar is the events management plugin and our bridge plugin events for members only. Links in the description. Thanks for watching. Give this video a like if you found it helpful. Uh, share the video on social media if you have other people who I, you know are trying to set up a WordPress site like this. I appreciate it.